what are judicial emergencies in the state of California? California's government code provides procedures for judicial emergencies in this state. Government code section 68115 deals with instances of war, acts of terrorism, public unrest or calamity, epidemics, natural disasters, or other substantial risks to the health and welfare of court personnel or the public, as well as instances where there's a large influx of criminal cases within a short period of time, or there's a declared state of emergency that's either been proclaimed by the President of the United States or the Governor of California. If any of these circumstances threaten the orderly operation of a superior court location or locations within a county, or renders access to the facility of the courts to be unsafe, then the presiding judge of that superior court may request and the chair of the judicial council may order uh, the court to do one or more of the following things to hold uh, court sessions anywhere within the county, to transfer civil cases pending trial in the court to a superior court in another county, to um, declare that a date or dates on which an emergency condition substantially interfered with the public's ability to file papers in a court facility or facilities to be deemed a holiday for purposes of com computing the time for filing papers, <clears throat> declare that a date on which an emergency condition prevented the court from conducting certain proceedings that are governed by the penal code or the welfare and institutions code to be deemed a holiday for purpose of computing time under those relevant statutes. To also extend the time periods that are provided in the code of civil procedure related to bringing an action to trial. Extending the duration of any TRO, a temporary restraining order that might otherwise expire. Uh, within the affected county during a state of emergency to extend the time periods provided within which a defendant that's charged with a felony is taken before a magistrate from 48 hours to not more than seven days. <clears throat> also to extend the time period providing for the holding of a preliminary examination from uh, 10 court days to no more than 15 court days and also to extend the time period provided within which a trial must be held, not more than 30 days, but the trial of a defendant in custody whose time is extended is to be given precedence over all other types of civil cases. In addition, under this uh, government code section, the chair of the judicial council can determine that certain circumstances that warrant relief for the orderly operation of superior court locations, uh, et cetera, they can issue uh, orders authorizing multiple courts to give the relief that we just talked about. In government code section 68116, it provides that any order of the chair of the judicial council is to take effect immediately upon being issued and that the chair of the judicial council may at any time revoke or terminate the order or a part of it. Government code section 68117 provides that the chair of the judicial council can direct the payment of the cost of assigned judges or court facilities uh, for these judicial emergencies to be paid for by funds that have been appropriated to the judicial council. And then finally, there's government code section 68118 that provides that nothing in this chapter curtails the right of a defendant in a criminal case to his or her fair and speedy trial.